Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White, and I'm coming to you from Utah, USA. Look at this crowd. Isn't that a lot of people? It's amazing. It must be a rock concert for some famous... No, it's not a... It's not a rock concert. It's a Trump rally in Pennsylvania, Butler, Pennsylvania. Yep, and it hasn't been photoshopped, ladies and gentlemen. Look at those people. These are the same people that Keith Overberg, Obermen, wants to have removed from society. My, him and what army? Anyway, so let's see if we can read the article. It says here that a Democrat worried about Trump's support. That's not a Photoshop. Democrat Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman said that he hasn't seen anything like Trump's rallies and brainstorming across Pennsylvania. In, let's see, what else did he say? Donald Trump is doing things that have never been done. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? Donald Trump is doing things that have never been done in Pennsylvania politics in terms of the raw brainstorming across small county Pennsylvania, Fetterman told CNN on November 1st. It's hard to predict with certainty how that's going to activate not only his base of voters from 2016, but also those that set it out, too. Fetterman then sounded the alarm to fellow Democrats who were pining their ho pinning their hopes on Democratic nominee Joe Biden winning the Keystone State, Pennsylvania, and its 20 electoral college votes would provide a significant boost towards winning the 270 electoral college votes needed to win the White House. I'm not saying Donald Trump is going to win Pennsylvania. But uh, what I am saying is he's doing everything that he can to maximize his chances, he said. Trump held multiple events on October 31st in Pennsylvania, including one in Butler County, where tens of thousands of supporters turned out. Photos and videos showed a scene more reminiscent of a rock concert than a political event. Fetterman on Twitter offered a more urgent warning to Democrats. There he is arriving. Marine One with President Donald Trump aboard lands next to the rally at Pittsburgh Pen Butler Regional Airport in Butler, Pennsylvania on October 31st. The president is popular in Pennsylvania. I don't care what polls say. With 70,000 ballots still out there, you need a, you need to bank your ballot. Use a drop box, he said. He wrote in another post. He included a Reuters po photo of the Butler County rally, writing, "That's not a Photoshop. That's a Reuters image of Butler. The battle for Pennsylvania and maybe the presidency will be won or lost by you," he said. Fetterman, in an interview with the Washington Post, said he believes that Biden and Democrats have enthusiasm as well. And all of us have seen that. President Donald Trump speaks during a rally at Pittsburgh Butler Regional Airport in Butler, Pennsylvania on October 31st. Look at those people. Oh, wow. President Donald Trump arrives at the rally at Pittsburgh Butler Regional Airport in Butler, Pennsylvania on October 31st, 2020. Look at that crowd. President Donald Trump speaks during a rally at Pittsburgh Butler Regional Airport in Butler, Pennsylvania on October 31st, 2020. Well, there he is again speaking at the same rally. 
There is more. I am absolutely convinced that we have a lot of enthusiasm, too, on our side, he said. But there's a lot of factors you can't extrapolate into a poll that are absolutely significantly in play in Pennsylvania. Four years ago, Trump shocked the country when he secured Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan by razor-thin margins, propelling him to the presidency over Hillary Clinton. Thank you, Jesus. Polls at the time showed Clinton beating Trump in the days before the election in 2016, much like what we're seeing now. While in Pennsylvania, the president said he will continue to support fracking, short for hydraulic fracturing for natural gas in the state. He announced at a rally that he had signed an executive order to protect the practice. But remember, Joe's going to just stop that fracking, and so is Kamala Harris, or however she liked to pronounce her name. It's really irrelevant to me. But look at those people. Look at our president. Exclusive. Trump Pence $2 bill. Wow. Well, folks, that's the report for this. And as always, I love you.